it's frequently useful to set in a text paragraph someplace just for placement purposes. Like I have one down in this area here. If we go back to the cover, maybe I want to have a section of text right down in here. And it's kind of fill that up with just some rough text to give me an idea of the look that I want. Now on deciding the kind of text you want, it's a little more tricky because you don't have all the typeface to work with until you begin typing in some text. But there is a tool to do that and that's up here. It's the Font Playground. Let's try that again. There we go. And in here you have several options. You can look at just some different settings in here. Now we're looking at Arial and these are some other choices that are similar to Arial. You can add another sample in there. You can add you know, a few different samples so you have just some things to compare against. You can choose different typefaces. Let's take a look down here at this Bauhaus. There we go. So I can compare different typefaces. I'll click right here and let's put an Arial rounded on that one. Let's click down here and let's say I want to try this one. So you can compare different typefaces right against each other this way. So it gives you a chance for some compare and contrast. Right now we're looking at one line at a time. I can change that here to multiple lines. It gives me a little better idea how it's going to look in a paragraph format. We can look at this in different sizes. Just click the one you want to look at. Let's take a look at this one for instance. This is the Bauhaus. And again, different sizes on the Bauhaus. You can see how that works at the smaller sizes and larger sizes. Obviously on this one it's hard to read as it gets smaller, but it's fine for a headline. We also can come in here and adjust the font size by just you know, zooming in and out to change the sample size. When you find one you like, you can click copy and then let's go back over here and then let's just paste that in. I can use my control V key to keep on pasting in additional text to fill up that text block. So I can just see how the text is going to look inside of a text box on inside my page. Now of course I can select that as regular text. So I can select my text I can change my text size. Right now it's at 11.29, so I set that at 12 or 14. Maybe 14 might look nice in this area. So it gives you a chance to play around a little bit with some of your different typefaces. And once you find something which you like, you can then go ahead and give it a try by copying it and then pasting, pasting it into your layout. Now, of course, you would be exchanging this text later on for real text. But until you have your real text written, this gives you a chance to at least get your placement down. So that's the font playground. And again, you can see it right, right there. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.